In this demo, I will demonstrate connecting the Oracle Cloud to on-premises for the purposes of workload migration using VMware ACX, or simply just to have the ability to have secure access to the Oracle Cloud from an on-premises network over the internet. I found that the site-to-site -site VPN wizard that has been built into the Oracle console is the quickest way to deploy the VPN. At a high level, the end goal is to peer the dynamic routing gateway, DRG, to the customer premises equipment, CPE, over the internet as the drawing depicts. On purpose, I did not include my on-premises configuration in this demo video. Your configuration could vary from my own, depending on many factors. That being said, the key to any successful site-to-site -site VPN configuration is the matching of parameters. Here are the recommended parameters for phase two IPsec VPN. I will be using the recommended settings. Heading into the Oracle console, click the burger icon. Networking, site-to-site -site VPN. Here is the VPN wizard I mentioned earlier. As I move through the wizard, it will allow me to reuse items that I've already deployed and create as needed. When I select my VCN, the wizard determines that I already have a dynamic routing gateway and internet gateway deployed. Here on the right, you can see what items the wizard will guide you through provisioning if it doesn't exist already. Next page. Top of the page, it's related to security rules and the bottom routing. In the security section, you will take note that a rule will be added to allow all traffic from on-premises to subnet selected. For any public subnet selected, SSH is allowed from all subnets. I'm going to go ahead and create a new security list that includes the rules just to keep my VPN rules separate. Last is to pick the public and private subnets that the rules just discussed will be applied. Making my way through the wizard, a choice of BGP or static routing is given. I've chosen to use BGP. Most notably on this page is that the wizard requires you to configure two tunnels. The wizard will not let you proceed if you do not fill in the settings for both tunnels. Oracle recommends having redundant connections for production. I only have one tunnel configured on-prem, so when I'm done here, only one of the two tunnels will come up. I've done this just a few times, and another shortcut I am taking is by reusing a shared secret key from a previous deployment. Otherwise, I would have to generate a new key and make the update on-prem. Last page. Oracle makes you to find a CPE. This is what is on the other end of your VPN opposite of the Oracle Cloud. I enter the public IP and define the vendor and platform version of my CPE. Time to review before creating. Looks good to me. Create VPN solution. After creation, Oracle provides a CPE configuration helper file. So all your configurations are in one place and it makes it easier to configure your on-prem device. One thing I did not show here is that I have to update my on-prem configuration with the tunnel IP address of the Oracle VPN. This IP address is generated at the time of provisioning. I'm up. Now, I'm going to take you over to the dynamic routing table of the DRG to show you that the routes are being learned both from the virtual cloud network and on-prem. Thank you for watching this demo video on connecting to the Oracle Cloud to on-premises using a site-to-site -site VPN demo video. To learn more, please visit the Oracle Cloud VMware Solution page at vmware.com.